Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is a very sincere connection. This is equal reciprocity in terms of feelings and emotional investments. You're both pouring into each other's cups, and the feelings are very mutual here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Eight of Swords, Air Energy, and page of pentacles earth energy so you could be reconnecting with someone who you had to take a break from with the hermit there's this feeling of having withdrawn from a situation spend time in solitude and isolation to kind of regroup because we have this eight of swords where it looks like the connection was mentally overwhelming in some way for someone and taking time apart kind of helped someone to feel that spark again because we're seeing this feeling of reuniting and putting in effort this time around so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the magician and this is mercury energy gemini virgo energy so someone is again it's like this connection is having another chance and this person is showing up as their better version there's this feeling of proving themselves both people really giving their all this time around so let's see you have the ten of swords a energy the hermits virgo energy and the two of swords a energy it looks like there was an ending here both people may have gone into um, solitude to introspect here with the hermit showing up and it does look like it's served um, you guys well because there's this feeling of reuniting but uh, from a more mature place this time around okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries Okay, we have time to a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Okay, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there is this energy here of someone taking a more mature approach. There's also this mutual forgiveness happening here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have morning glory, affection, and determination. The morning glory, which blooms for a day, differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Aries. Okay, we have surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.